Hi and good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel and today is another glorious day. I'm looking forward to going flying and I'm going to take you with me on a flight over Exmoor. I haven't flown over Exmoor for quite a while. The last time I did it was in the paramotor on the Icarus X and it's just such a glorious place to be early in the morning. So it's cool, it's calm and I'm just looking forward to getting in the air and hopefully bringing you along with me. So I'm going to carry on with the rest of my prep and I'll join you on the taxi out. Front traffic from Gold Fox for Whisker Lima Romeo correction backtracking runway 31 for departure to the north. Clean front. Oh, it splattered. <laughs> right, final checks T wave, trim is fixed, wind and weather is. Within limits for the flight, awareness I'm on the runway, visor is down, and eventualities on this one, it's land ahead, reverse sufficient flight, I will be coming back to land on the runway, and engine temps are good. Glee Prime traffic from Gold Fox to Whiskey Lima, Romeo departing runway 31, departing to the north. Glee Prime. Got a neutral. And full power. Definitely a lot heavier today. So today we're going to be flying off towards Minehead and I'm going to fly along the north coast and then come back in over Exmoor and hopefully you'll be able to see that little uh, animation on the screen. I have to uh, thank a good friend of mine, Dan Jones, who made the little, uh, little picture of my PB with my registration on it and hopefully that will be uh, showing you where I'm going. Oh, what a different day it is from last time. Glee Palm traffic from Golf Fox to Whiskey Lima Romeo. Now depart the circuit. Circuit clear. Glee Palm. I'll just let Bob know because he's off with his, uh, his first flight. And I want to make sure that he was uh, aware I was out of circuit. So when I drove out this morning, it was definitely in minus figures and had to uh, scrub the screen. And... Uh, going to be um, probably going to get a little bit thermic later on because that temperature change is just so different. It's supposed to be up to about 11 or 13 later on. So that moisture is all just going to rock it up, making it a little bit rough later on. Right, so fuel's good, temps are good. So 10 past 9, departed. This is still a little bit murky, but not too bad. Slight inversion. Def actually, not a slight inversion. Definite inversion. Oh, it feels good. Feels good to be up again. Right, well, I'm going to shut all my main cameras down and then just enjoy the trip. Hopefully that camera will still be running and uh, I'll bring you along on a flight and then I'll rejoin you uh, as I'm heading back in. So, uh, so anyway, enjoy a little bit of music and a little bit of the view. And uh, just, I'm just happy to be out, out of the circuit, uh, away from testing propellers and, um, and just enjoying the view in the local area while we can, while the weather's still good.
I'm sorry that camera wasn't actually pointing out to sea, but the uh, the views, <laughs> the coastal view was absolutely spectacular. Uh, you rejoin me about an hour and uh, hour and 40 minutes into the flight, and uh, I'm just uh, in the last 10 miles of the journey back. It was about 35 miles out, so I'll be around to about 70 miles for 10 miles to go. And it's getting a little bit punchy now. Um, I'm up about two and a half thousand feet at the moment, just over two and a half thousand feet. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, extra wind today, so I've only gained about five or six miles an hour heading back with the wind behind me. Uh, you may just be able to see off to the side, there's mine head over there, so local feature wise, um, I know exactly where I am. And uh, yeah. It's a little bit nippy, but I am very, very glad to have the visor on today and the wind down. My face is nice and warm. So anyway, I will be uh, getting ready to uh, to join the circuit in a minute. Uh, definitely a solid inversion today, and it's very murky on the way back. Lovely on the way out, but very murky on the way back. What might not have been very obvious on the on the flight out and on the way back is although Exmoor is lovely to fly over, very exposed, not a lot of uh, people. I did also try and bias my track to any form of population or roads. So if I did have a land out, I uh, I didn't have too far to walk. So was nearby population because I wouldn't want to even today it's not that warm today I wouldn't want to get stuck in the middle of Exmoor I love flying but walking out of Exmoor is not my idea of fun right rejoin uh, field location I know it's just ahead I can see it through the murk anyway fuel is seven litres which is sufficient Required altimeter. I'm still on QFE. Glee Farm traffic. Glee Farm traffic is Golf Foxtrot Whiskey Lima Romeo. Five miles to run to the northwest, joining for runway 31. Glee Farm. Uh, uh, kill the hand throttle because it's getting a little bit bumpy now. And I am definitely secure. My helmet is secure. Just can't get over how beautiful this area is. Reservoir down there, the lake. Got a lovely reference point of this mast on top of this hill. And what a beautiful Devon coastline. It's weird, I feel like I'm just gracing these fields here, but uh, I'm still 1800 feet, <laughs> 1700 feet above takeoff at the moment. Right, let's start my downwind checks early. So, fuel, I have sufficient, seven litres. Awareness of traffic, uh, bobs on the ground again, which is good. Wind, I need to check that on the downwind side. I will check that every minute. Nose wheel steering is straight, hand throttle is closed, and I am still secure. Glue from traffic, Golf, Foxtrot, Whiskey, Lima, Romeo, downwind, runway uh, 31. Leap farm. Very much a crosswind from right to left. So downwind checks complete. Can't see anyone on final high or low. Come in low here. Final check. Centre line. Speed, which is the bar position. Centre line. Centre line, come on. Come on, centre line. Centre line. Looking long. Oh, happy with that! Oh, happy with that! Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, what a joyous flight! 
Oh, that was absolutely fantastic. Well, I'm going to leave this video here. I've had nearly two hours. We've done over 70 miles. It's a gorgeous day and I'm going to go home happy. I hope you enjoyed that. That's the first time I've actually flown a PB over at, at Exmoor and along that North Devon coastline. So for me, I'm one happy bunny. I hope you enjoyed that video and we'll say we'll leave it here and until next time everybody, fly safe.